<laughs> Where did this come from? So it's kind of really fucking depressing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Welcome Party back. Chat. This is my co-host, Ben. Welcome back. And we are with a music legend Sensation. in the making. Wow. A man who is really having his moment right now. Top of the charts. We tracked him down. We found him. Every sports team in America is posting about him for some reason. I don't think he ever saw this coming. The Nets, the Cavs, the, the Lions. NF, the National Football League. Oh, all God. 36 of those teams. <laughs> God dang. We're with Eric Dioy. Yeah. What's up, Eric? Well, how's it been going, dude? What, what's it, what's your life been like these past 48 hours? It's been a really wild 48 hours, man. Uh, had Break a lot it of, down. I had a lot of people ponder what it would be like if uh, a certain Fortnite influencer got a type of haircut. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, dude, it's been so sick. It's been uh, really, really awesome to see you know people appreciate not only the, the funniness, but the music, yeah. which has been sick. Hell For yeah. Sure. Um, well, this uh, podcast is called Party Chat. We love to just get right into it. So every time we hit this button, we're going to ask you another question. Eric DOA, are you ready? I'm ready. First off, yes. where did the idea behind the low taper fade come from? And, and what's the uh, what's the lore behind the stream? Um, okay. So basically, uh, about three days ago, I was at my computer and I was like, damn. Today I want to stream, but I want to do something that I that I haven't done. Like I want to do something like cool, but it's also like me. And I was I'm always thinking about stuff like oh, what could I do that's like gonna showcase myself. And I think the most like thing that I've been a lot uh, very invested in recently mm. is like making intentional art and doing things intentionally just to you know heck yeah just to be myself. You know. Wait, yeah. So you thought of it day of? Yeah, I, I thought of like an hour of bro. Like I I, I was. Like out at my computer trying to figure out how to route my like like my DAW that I work in, like digital audio workstation for anybody nice. who doesn't know what a DAW is. Nice. But the lab. Yeah, the lab is also referred to. Had as. to had to route that to OBS, which actually took an hour long and it was so gut wrenching and painful, but I somehow did it, figured it out, and I was like, Okay, well it's time to go to Guitar Center and, and get a smoke machine and, and, and get some lights and stuff like that and uh Funny enough, and not, not a lot of people know, but I, I, I trip my smoke alarms like six times doing this stream. No way. Uh, but yeah, dude, I just was like, you know what? Fuck it. I have this preset. I have this. Can I curse? Yeah. Oh, awesome. So I was like, fuck it. And I got, uh, you know, the preset made and I mixed the vocals and I, you know, put them in, I put them where they needed to be and uh, routed everything and set up the camera in a nice monochromatic black and white. And yeah, history was, was made. Was the plan to go for as long as you did? Yeah. Yeah, I think at first, like, I was like, damn, I don't know if I could do this for hella long, but I just kept going. I just... Damn. I, I, I capped myself at two hours because I, I didn't want to damage my voice from singing right. for that long, but yeah. Cool, man. How does it feel to go viral like this? Have you ever been this viral before? No. I've always been, like, terrified of it low-key because, like, I don't know. I'm one of those people who, like, doesn't really understand the concept of like perception so yeah. i'm like always really bugged out when <laughs> when things like this happen but it was lucky something really cool to go viral for it was like i was having a conversation with, with him actually today about it and it was like um things that go viral like they'll either go viral for the absolute wrong reason or a hundred percent across the board all bulletins like the right, right reasons yeah. and I feel like it you was like a that. recipe, yeah, for a viral video. Do you, you feel? Do you uh, when you say like you don't understand or you have a hard time understanding perception? Do you mean like you have a hard time understanding how people are going to perceive your art? Yeah, or yeah. What, I feel yeah, like yeah. What do you yeah, mean by that? That's like the that's like the main thing is like I feel like a lot of artists like I don't I, like it's talked about obviously, but I feel like it's not like too much that people because they don't want to seem like they're being negative, but like right. Uh, it's uh, kind of hard to conceptualize that there's like so many people on earth that have access to technology and social media that could be perceiving your art at moments of any, <laughs> like any time throughout the day, yeah. like you could be perceived. And um, I think that this like, you know, trend or viral video, I think like it did indeed go viral for the right reasons and i've seen a lot more love than other than than hate I how think. did it did the messages just all start rolling in at once or how did you kind of experience it uh dude. How, like when did you know that this was going like huge 
<laughs> so this is like the biggest trend on the internet right the now. The day we posted it, like the first hour, it got 10K likes. And I was like, okay. And it was on a Clips account that we have uh, that, like, you know, was seeing a thousand views and like a hundred likes. And then I, I texted Matt and I was like, dude, it's at 25K. Dude, it's at 50K. Yeah. Dude, it's at 100,000 likes. And then it, we just started bugging throughout the day. Like it was going super viral. And you're you know, an absolute time, clout demon at this point. Yes, like it's all getting to my head. I was already, I was already blocking people by that <laughs> point. <laughs> but um, yeah, man, I uh, I was so like dumbfounded because I'm like, really, dude? Me just bullshitting for two hours? Yeah. <laughs> I like singing. Just, just. I mean, it wasn't really bullshitting. Like, it was definitely um, performance art, and that's like what I want to be able to like show people that like. Absolutely. Yes, the low taper fade thing was, was funny, but like the whole entire thing is something that I really for sure want people to. Have you been getting hit up by like a bunch of different people to come on shows and, and do appearances and stuff? I've gotten some like DMs, like more like social media managers being like, how did you do this? How did you do this? Right. But um, besides those, it's just been like people wanting to just, they just have cool questions about, I think, the, yeah. the, the full live stream, which has been really sick. And so do you feel like, like I know you're saying like it went viral, like you can't believe it went viral, but uh, do you feel like any type of fear about, you know, the low taper fade, maybe like, you're like kind of an underground artist. You're kind of, I know you're super passionate about your music. Of like, course. do you have any fear that you're like, oh, am I going to get overexposed with this thing? Yeah. Or? I mean, like, of course, like that's yeah. so normal though. I think a lot of people don't really, um, I try to conceptualize that, uh, you know, you're going to be perceived no matter what, even if it's by 10 or 10 million people. So um, I think in that sense of that question, like, yeah, of course I'm like scared, but at the same time, it's like that's so sick. Yeah, <laughs> to me, like at least like I can say that five million people per perceived like my art and it's something that I care about. If it was unintentional and I didn't care about it, then it would, it would feel worse. I think. Yeah, like what a good problem to have. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, like, are too many people seeing my art? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are there any plans to turn this into a full song? I don't think so. I think. I think a lot of things, especially because like, I'm really like, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I've been chronically online for a long time. I think a lot of people have. Yeah. Uh, so I know the ins and outs of things usually. So I don't like when people try to like gas trends like that and try to drag it out for as long as they possibly can. Like, I don't think I'd be, I don't think I'll make a full song of it, but I do think that I'll probably like definitely include tropes of the stream what if it's like uh you could view it as like you just you, you're like a ghost writer. well obviously at this point you can't be a ghost writer <laughs> but you could sell the song to like drake he probably would want the song if drake wants it dms are open man. <laughs> <laughs> nice. that'd be a crazy end to this this story <laughs> that it's just this drake buys the you guys song. would never see me again <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's retirement right there all right cool we are going to do a little bit of, of lyrics genius right oh, now. <laughs> so I'm going to pull out some of the uh, some of the fan favorite moments from from your performance, mm -hmm. um, and you're going to kind of walk me through what was going through your head, if anything was going through your head. All right, so we got the first is? first one right now. Got you. Cry on a live stream. I'm a grown man. I got. I got Imagine them ninja got a low table face. <laughs> the eight hundredth time I've heard this. Imagine them ninja got a low table face. Wow. Most famous line. Yeah. What? Wh where did this come from? So it's kind of really fucking depressing. <laughs> okay. What? Not, yeah, it's really fucking depressing. Um, what? So this was the timestamp around. Uh, 30, 40 minutes in? 30, 40 25, minutes. 21, I yeah, have Yeah, okay, right so like damn near almost half an hour. Yeah. And at this point, like it wasn't a joke anymore. Like it was becoming a full-on therapy session. I was talking about things that actually truly bother me and make me upset. Yeah. And I think I was talking about, you know, I think I was talking about the death of my grandfather like three years ago. He died from COVID. And like he was oh, like man, a shit. person that like showed me a lot about music and like got me my first guitar, like showed me a bunch of like vinyl records that he had and you know no way. yeah it was it was some shit that i was just getting off my chest i think in the in like the deep into the stream and then uh 
I got really emotional after saying, I think, uh, I forgot what I said, but I said like, the, like the last thing that I you know said about my grandfather and then I was like in my head I was like I'm being too vulnerable on the internet I need to I need to make myself not cry right now what's, no what's, what's, what's one thing that I wow. can do that's gonna, gonna not make me cry and I was like all right say the first thing that comes to your mind and, and it was it's a hard one I had a low tape for <laughs> <laughs> whoa yeah, that, that was used to make sure that I didn't cry on the internet but I ended up Crack the hey man, you can cry here if you want. Yeah. Hey bro, thanks. So thanks for making this a safe space. Yeah, guys. we're boys. That is so crazy, <laughs> dude. That that is like where that that spawned from. It's so insane because everybody's like the first like day or two that the thing was out was like, oh my god, this is the funniest thing ever, and just um, so many people in the comments were like, you have no idea what this <laughs> spawned just, from. Yeah, <laughs> bawling your eyes out yeah. watching it. That's crazy. That's super interesting. All right, yeah. here's the uh, the next one. Who knew it'd go well? Feed my whole family off a of crack that fell. Mm, you're not listening. You're not listening. I feed <laughs> my whole family off a of crack that fell. Yeah, that was uh, that was the point. I think we're. What's the timestamp on that? That's hour, an hour and one minute in. That's when we started crying. That's when we were like, fuck it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I was just talking about uh, just. I don't really like to boast on the internet. I think it's the lamest thing of all time. Where yeah. Like, people are like consistently every day just like on their story like, I woke up at 5 a.m. and took a cold shower. Fuck you. Like, right. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm back in the way, cold but, tub. Yeah, back in the cold tub. We're on the grind set. Like, I don't know. Like, I think it's cool when people like. Dude, I personally think that's fucking sick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Wait, let me say like, I know the viewers probably think that's sick too. So. No, it, it, no, it is, no, no, no. It, it is sick chill, to take a chill. cold shower, no, bro. It's universally hated. <laughs> But, um, yeah, dude, um, I think that was around the time where I was like actually just saying fuck it and just like letting a lot of shit out. And just at that point, it was like actually getting really emotional. And I was like, dude, okay, fuck it, I'm just gonna cry. But yeah, I was talking about, you know, the successes and, you know, I don't really talk, I think, to my supporters nor share on the internet about, you know, being proud of myself for what I've accomplished at 21 years old. And uh, this year, um, like, I hit, I guess, a, a personal goal of mine or like a achievement, I guess, to be able to pay my sister's way through school, just off off, off of what I what I do for a living. So I got really emotional and talked about that, and then uh, I basically said that um, kind of incriminated myself low key because I was like, yeah, I did all of this from stolen software, yeah. which uh, FL could is be a, a joke, could not be a joke. What does FL stand for again? Uh, I think Fruity Loops, which yeah, is Fruity the craziest, <laughs> yeah, the craziest Daw name of all time. But yeah. Um, Cracked FL, man. I, I pay for your software now, Image Line. I promise. Love it. All right, here's <laughs> the uh, the next one. Prayers for my mama. Let me tell you about my mama, yeah. My mama. My mama work her fucking ass up. She work her fucking ass up, man. Man, that's a beautiful woman, man. Man, she just, she was trying to do the best she could, and my dad tried to do the best he could, too. Yeah. <laughs> Self-explanatory. Pretty self-explanatory, man. Yeah, I was, I was reflecting a lot, I think, during this whole thing, just about, like, my family, how much love that I have for them, and just, like, really, you know, um, I think, like, bro, like, it's so, I think I, every person's, uh, like adult period in their life. Like I'm, I just turned 21 recently, so now I'm, you know, learning it's time to be a grown ass adult and you know stop like paying attention to stuff from the past. But I'm also reflecting on stuff from the past and realizing, damn, like the sacrifices that my family made a lot for just me to be uh, here and alive and eat food and have clothes was a lot. For sure. Yeah. More than a hundred thousand. You're not listening. Do you know how it feels to be 21 and pay your sister tuition? That's a bar. <laughs> yeah, so talk about bar. that, being able to pay, being 21 and being able to pay your sister's tuition. It's the best feeling in the world, dude. So, it's like, I think that line really, I think, I don't know, bro, I think my sister, like, actually gets me the most emotional because it's, uh... She did a lot for me growing up. Like, my parents were always at work a lot, so I was with her, like, 
a lot of the time. So I do give her credit. Shout out to her. Uh, I give her credit for, you know, helping raise me. So um, my whole life, I think I just wanted to do something where I could give back to them yeah. and specifically give back to her too because, you know, of everything she did. So um, like being able to write that and like walk that footpath and get to that point and actually be able to do it was like so surreal. That's so sweet. Saying. Yeah. That's super cool. All right, so one last serious one, and then we got some of the funny ones coming awesome. up to you. Awesome. The teacher saw my last name and assumed that I couldn't speak English. I was like, bitch, what the fuck does that mean? So what is that was happening. <laughs> okay, let me explain that. So when I was in the seventh grade, uh, I got put into remedial reading classes because they actually thought I couldn't like speak proper English. I had a speech impediment also. So they thought I would like actually do like English wasn't my first language. And I was like, it, it was so weird because I was like, yo, I know how to read. Like I, I could read and write. And it was so, I was, I was always been weird because it's been like that since elementary school. Like I've, I've known how to read. I knew how to do all this. So they all just like assumed. And I was obviously exaggerating before my mom like gets on my ass about that. But uh, yeah, I it was really weird. Uh, my my middle school was definitely on some weird shit because I was like, I'm I'm doing just fine in English. I don't know I don't know why I'm <laughs> here in remedial. Yeah, why am I in here like learning how to sound out vowels and shit? <laughs> like I'm speaking to you clearly right now. But, All right, yeah. this is a this is a great line. Back to back great lines right here. Talk to me. All I'm saying on my screen. I'm just, I'm just trying to be here for the man. If you listen to my music and you five six, I fuck with you, every man. You go. <laughs> What's this up? So where's that come from? <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, yeah, a little breakdown for that one, man. We're 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 short kings, dude. Yeah, I'm a I'm a small guy. Hey, hey, don't loop us in there. Hey, okay, what are you talking okay, about, not dude? Not we, not we, not we. <laughs> Come on, I'll dude. use better verbiage. I am a there short king. Uh, yeah. I would love to be a short king, dude. It's kind of sick. I like yeah. being petite. I think it's rare. I think people don't like. People don't jack it like they're supposed to. I I'm I'm, I'm comfortable with my height. Was that a was nice. that a uh, uh, admission to your hi- your height right there? Was that like a totally honest admission? Yeah, five, a height six? reveal. Yeah, yeah. Height reveal. That's yeah. Low key with these, I'm like five eight though. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay, and then you can get those other things on TikTok. Like yeah, videos, like, I saw those and I was more. like, no, I used to have those. Like real shit, I've been on that before anybody else was. What yeah. would you put like newspaper in your shoes? Or no, something? I had the height increasers. Like I bought no them way. off. I, I bought them off eBay with like, the only five dollars I had in my PayPal from sending people the links where you used to send the links to to, to get five dollar credit. Paid for that. What's wow. Right. What yeah. was your What was your actual height after that? Uh, that was my junior year. I was like five. Five. All right, say. here's the uh, the last one that we wanted to. Uh, last one. Yeah, last one that we really wanted you to break down here. I think this is an important one. Let me just talk my chart, man. Fuck. Why you don't understand this pain? Yes. <laughs> we was in the crib watching Pokemon. Wait, hold on. Fuck. We was in the crib watching Pokemon. Do I have to explain you this? Gotta, yeah, I, this is Pokemon is a wa- I think she watches our podcast. That's we tried awesome. her uh, cookies last time. She may come on. So okay, wait a minute. Could you were they fire? Yeah, they were. Good. I've heard they really they're good. really good. They, they were, were good. actually really good. They were good. We're kind of simp's, but they were really good. <laughs> they were delicious. I'm glad. I'm glad. Damn. Uh, yeah, dude. We were in a crib to this day watching Pokemon. I bro, she's the goat. I rock with her heavy. I listen to her podcast when I'm cleaning. Oh, nice. Yeah, she's the goat. Nice. Yeah. I'm not tier three sub though. I, I'm, I'm, that's a joke. You can check. Oh, I I actually have donated. I think the most subs to Pokimane of all time. It's not a joke. Because when I worked for Energy, she won a tournament, and so I gifted her 500 subs. Oh, that's a that's a at check. once. Yeah. 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 That's a lot of subs. Yeah. We pray so, for times like those. Yeah. So shout out Pokimane. Hey. I love it. We're gonna pitch you some new bars. Awesome. I'm that going that to are get... some pretty deep thoughts. That if you ever get the urge to do this again, mm. 
we may inspire you with, with these bars. Okay? I'm, gonna get a, I'm, gonna, I'm getting the boss man <coughs> so stance. You just gotta <laughs> you just gotta tell us if these if you would use these this bar or not. Mm -hmm. Okay, first one. Yep. Lay it on me. Do bald people use shampoo or body wash on their heads? That's a great one. I actually like that one because that, that that's a very that's a very You go trash or gas. I would say I would say in the middle because I feel like that's like a very introspective question, yet one one word answer could be given. Okay, great, great, you know? great. Do you want me to do them or you want to do it? No, I think yeah, I think you oh, got nice. it. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. I, I, I was hoping you would sing one. All right, cool. Dude. <laughs> All right, well sing it, sing it. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna sing it. <laughs> Does sour cream have an expiration date? Oh, that one's trash. It does. It's obvious. Yeah. All right. All right. It's okay. You can have an opinion. <laughs> Dude, what? This one, this one is, why do British people never sound British when they sing? Yep. Mm-hmm. Gas. Yep. Gas. Gas. That shit makes me so mad. Okay. Did you just give me the trash one? No, I'll, go. I'll do them all. I'll do them all. Why are you in a movie but on TV? You know what I'm saying? Like, do you feel that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, why are you in a movie? But it's on TV. But you're on TV. <sighs> that one just feels mean. Okay, trash. That's yeah. fine. You can have an opinion. <laughs> Damn, I was going to say that one. If two mind readers read each other minds, whose minds are they reading? Shit was ass, bro. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I had to think about. It. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I, you know, I'm being honest. Right. Bro. Well, I love you both. That we got a good follow up for you. Okay. So obviously, of all these lines that you said, the one that just absolutely went off. Yes. Was. Imagine if Ninja had a low taper fade. Mm. Damn, that was beautiful. Thank you. Well. <laughs> <laughs> We have a <laughs> on that note, we've got some other what streamers. What are you about to ask me, bro? I'm so scared. We prepared a presentation for you. <laughs> like a presentation? So, presentation? Yeah. These oh, are, uh, if other streamers had other haircuts. Oh, shit. And you're going to say, you're going to say trash or gas. Trash please. or gas. All Ready? right, run it. Let's do it. Dr. Disrespect with a pixie cut. Whoa. We spent Whoa. a lot of time on these. Oh my god, gas. I fuck with that. All right, all right, gas. All right, now we got next one. He looks so nice. No, he does. Yeah, he looks like he's about to ask for the manager. Yeah. <laughs> oh, true. That's actually so I've seen that. Oh, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Who's Tim, that? That's Tim the Tap Man with the mullet. <laughs> oh my god. He got that two tone shit going on. I rock with it, Loki. Timothy. Okay. Yeah. Gas. Yeah. I I'm going to say gas. That's XQC with a French crop. <laughs> Barber got him good, bro. That looks like an Edgar cut. That's that's awesome, but I, I'm going to say hell no. Yeah, I, I don't like that. It, <laughs> it's nah. like a bit of a Lego haircut. Yeah, it looks Gosh. too mini figure esque I'm not with it. All right, next one. Uh, that's bald Tarek. Is it bald Derek? Because I'm seeing I'm seeing hair follicles. It's not like that. That's like the worst type of bald. I think yeah. <laughs> that's like bald, but just went to Turkey. Yeah. Maybe no, maybe, no, no. maybe needs to see the dermatologist. I'm gonna say trash, bro. You never do Tarek like that ever again, bro. That right, that right. makes me sad. That's our bad. Dude, that's that. a real photo. <laughs> that's so mean. All right, that's Jinxie with a with a quaff. What that's what that's called? Or a quiff. A, a quaff. I don't think it's said like <laughs> it's that. Quiff. I, I, <laughs> quiff. I have F. That we're, we're getting closer uh, to some other is, definitions. This is Jinxie with a quiff. I think <laughs> I think I think him with the quiff. I think he looks like an upstanding <laughs> I think he looks like an upstanding young gentleman. I, I kinda rock with it. All no, right. No. Also, speaking of Jinxie, he reacted to uh, yeah. your song in, in Fortnite. In Fortnite, yeah. Yeah. How what was that like? That was so strange too. That that was another day of waking up and seeing that. But it, it was like one of those moments where you see it and you're like, this 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 is so hilarious like th this could have only happened in, in one timeline and it's this one yeah uh, okay yeah. all right so we want to get some uh reactions uh to people posting your your sound yes so the first one uh we got is first up we got the cleveland cavaliers posting that was so nuts imagine if ninja got a low table fame How does that make you feel? 
it made me so confused because all the comments were agreeing with me because the first thing I said when I saw that was holy shit and the second thing I said was what the fuck does this have to do with basketball? <laughs> <laughs> but all the comments agreed with me. They were like, what the fuck does this have to do with the Cavaliers Cleveland? But <laughs> I'm glad they use whatever social media managers are working at the, at the NBA, they're, they're doing something right. Yeah, the Brooklyn Nets also posted. That's here. my favorite basketball team. Oh, for real? Yeah, I bugged out when I saw that. I was like, wow, that's crazy. <clears throat> so we got the Brooklyn Nets. On, on this one. <laughs> Let's see. So <laughs> Mikel Bridges I'm tweaked out. So what do you think about that one with the Elote Buffet? I like Elote Buffet way more than Low Taper Fade. I'm not going to lie. That makes it feel so much more wholesome. But uh, yeah, no, I loved that one. That's my favorite basketball team. Seeing Mikel Bridges with my with my voice next to it was awesome. Great. And then finally, we have what everyone's been waiting for. Ninja has actually gotten a low taper fade. You would think so, but he actually didn't. So check out this video from <laughs> NFL and then give us your reaction. <laughs> Could you imagine if I got a low taper oh, fade? I didn't see this one. I actually not, didn't. You didn't see that? No, I just saw the NFL tag. It me, just so. happened. What the fuck? Here, wait, let me show you again. I was confused because the day that he got, I was like, oh my God, he's going to get the low taper fade. And then I saw it and I was like, that's not a, it's not a low taper fade. But it is, it is a fade. It was a low fade. But what is the difference between a low fade and a low taper fade? I had a TikTok explain that to me because somebody, a barber, tick, uh, I think his name is Miles. I saw the video and it, it was going pretty, pretty stupid right now. But um, just dummy viral. Yeah, it's going viral, and where he's explaining that Ninja really didn't get a low taper fade, and uh, the, the definition of taper is getting lost within Gen Z, I think. And I was like, damn, we need to bring tapers. Back. It's a damn shame. It's a damn shame. It's a damn shame. Oh yeah, that is a huge shame. Yeah. All right, well, Ninja, you you failed you failed again. <laughs> but I feel I feel like that is what Ninja was supposed to do. Yeah, no, I, feel I think like, it's sick. I feel like the the best thing to happen on the internet is for Ninja to try to go get a low taper fade and then yeah, not doesn't get the right haircut. Not get the right haircut. <laughs> and not get a low taper fade. We are sitting here with probably the most viral musician on TikTok right wow. now. Wow. That big shoes to fill. I want your professional opinion. You need to blind rank the top seven video game songs of all time. Oh my god. First one. Super Mario Bros. Man, you know that's a hit, and I, I you can't. It's that's undeniable. Out of I'm, seven, though. Out of seven. Wait, why out of seven? Because you got to blind rank him. Fuck. Oh, oh, you can't oh. just play a smash and then. Oh, uh, damn, bro. Ah, that's going number two. Number two. Number two. Okay, leave leaving the goat conversation open. Yo. Wow. This is my damn, bro. You guys keep playing hits. Uh, this shit is going. Uh, I'm I'm a huge Rockstar fan. Like grew up on it. I'm gonna say three, three. Yeah, three. So so Mario yeah. two. I think this is good. San Andreas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. Little Runescape magic. Can Are I, you can in I... a movie but on TV? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are gonna hate me for this. I've never played RuneScape in my life. Oh fuck, dude. Um yeah. I'm get the okay. fuck off this podcast. <laughs> no, I, feel like, okay. I feel like RuneScape is a grown ass man's game though. Yeah, right, it that's is. Right. It's kind like, of a boomer game. It's, I don't know. Well, I, I think it's sick. I, 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 I like always wanted to have a game where I could be able fishing and chop wood. Well, besides Minecraft. Yeah. But yeah. for sure. I think it's a dope game. I'm gonna put that at six. To be honest, okay. All right. since I really never played. Yo. Oh. Four. Four. Four? Four. 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 Dude. It's goaded. It's goaded, but it doesn't. I, I know I know there's a number one in here, bro. Yeah. Dude, I'm nice on the aux cable, by the way, right? Yeah, you might be. Yeah. You really All might right. be. Why do British people It's <laughs> when they sing. Not 
It's not goaded though. It's can't because I have my number one spot open. It's not. It's I, it's, I don't think it's goaded. Fuck, man. I, I have what open still? Uh, did you say seven yet? Uh, I said four. Yes, yeah, so you have seven and one. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. Oh my God, Halo's going at seven. I was I wasn't really like too what? Much. I'm sorry. Wow. I'm sorry. Wow. I'm so bad at this. Wow. You're number one. Do you know Do you know this one? Is this Goldeneye? Yeah. Bro, yeah, Dude. of course. But that game's goaded though. Yeah, it's kind of beast. That's the first video game it's I ever played. A, it's yeah. kind of a sick number one. Call. That's the first video game I ever played. PS2. Dude, it's kind of legendary for yeah. that one. Okay. Yeah. All right, this one. How about this one? <laughs> yeah, this one's alright. Yeah. Nah, this is a slap, dude. Thank you, thank you. Alright, so we only have a we only have a few left. Does, does this mean that I can hit the, the button? Yeah, you wanna hit it? It's time for Eric DOA lore. Yay! Okay. The first one is Do you have two songs in Fortnite? I do. Okay, how did that happen? What's like the what is like the origin of that? Uh, I think it's like really like technical to be honest. I think they just like they hit up people and they they hear certain things or you would submit and if they like it or not, then they're like, yeah, we'll put it in. Was it original song? Did you make a song for Fortnite? Oh no no no! I oh, didn't make a song for Fortnite. It was just one of my songs, which is sick that it plays on the radio when you get into little buggies or things. I yeah. think it's awesome. And shout out Epic Games for putting the songs in. And then the second piece of lore we just heard. Yes. So you performed at the Valorant Champions opening ceremony. Indeed, I did. Yes, I did. And what was that like? That was insane. I think like twelve thousand people were in yeah. that. It, it was just, so and all like twenty five thousand people watching on Twitch. So it was a lot. Yeah. Was that your biggest concert ever? So yeah. Far? Yeah. So That's far. Cool. And then you actually have a song in Valorant. How did that work out? That was sick. Um, there was like a pitch to a bunch of people at labels, and uh, they were looking for somebody who was young, Hispanic because the character is uh, Mexican, and um, they were just looking for somebody to like be attentive, I guess, to the theme and to, uh, you know, what makes good music good music. And I think they reached out to a bunch of people. And I and I, I remember we had a meeting, sat down, talked to them. They were great. We, we had great chemistry off rip. And then I immediately went home and made the song. And there it was. 24 hours that song was wow. born. And Dude, that's insane. Yeah. You did it same day? I made that song like five hours, yeah. Holy. That's nuts. Okay, this is another really cool piece of Eric D.O.A. lore. Yes. You got curled by Jaleel I on did. stage. I did. So what was that like? <laughs> it was it was sick, to be honest. Like, uh, I always admired Jaleel because I was like, damn, like one 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 man has all that power. Yeah. <laughs> That's so great. Uh, but yeah, dude, we were we were in the green room at this festival that we were doing with Aries called Wonder World Fest. And uh, I think that was in Boston that night. And when we were in the first place in New Jersey, I went up to him and I was like, bro, you think you could deadlift me? And he was like, how much do you weigh? And I told him I was trying to weigh and he was like, yeah, that's, that's light work. And I was like, nah, <laughs> nah, that shit ain't light work. That's you, crazy. you can't pick up a whole human, like, right? And then he was like, I'll do it right now. And I was like, all right. I'm thinking that he wasn't going to be able to. And then he, he did it. He did like 25 reps. So crazy. Oh my God. Yeah, he, he went crazy. He PR'd. Piece of Grady Rain's lore, I was at the Nitro Circus. Yeah. Where he fell off the ramp. Yeah. He I saw that. He's invincible. He will yeah, never he die. He ate yeah, shit. Yeah. That he, was crazy. He actually cheated death. It was, was insane. Super nervous. I was super nervous about it, but thank God he's okay. Yeah, no. Um, I know. Okay. The other thing is you have a song in Euphoria. I do. So where, where did that come from? Kind of similar situation or what? Yeah, all of them really just opportunities that arise. Um, they were looking for people to, you know, submit music from, um, you know, Universal and people who are involved in the labels under them and I sent in a song that we were actually not going to put out I, I was like nah, this song's all right and uh, We sent it to them and they loved it and they put it in the they put it in the soundtrack. Oh, so, okay, yeah. cool And just a few more This couldn't be better timing for you. No, just like all. blowing yeah. up doing your thing and You're about to go on tour. You have a new album dropping talk about that. Yeah, man Um, I mean yeah, like like we both said it couldn't be a better time for this to happen. Um, I've been, you know, working on this uh, this body of work for a, a good amount of time, dude. But it's like not one of those things where it's been like me pouring my heart and soul into something. It's more of a situation of me falling back in love with music because I feel like, uh, like 
through the growing process of being a being a teenager that went into the music industry, I was like learning a lot of things and just like being in an industry just in general when you're young is like scary because yeah. like you know you got a lot of adults around you and you don't really know what's happening. So I think uh, the intention was was starting to stray away and I, like everything that I was making didn't really feel like I was making it. And uh, with this music that's coming out now, it's just everything. It's just been the like the most fun I've had making music, just being silly and just enjoying myself, just like the live stream, just like anything else. And that's really how the live stream I feel like ties into the album because it's just like me being carefree and intentional now. You know, not really caring about like rollouts or a TikTok campaign. It's more just like I make just this. being like the number one trend on TikTok. Yeah, <laughs> on accident. But you think your album will be like a good juxtaposition of like funny stuff that you're like in the studio laughing with friends and then also like emotional like heartfelt things i'm just yeah i'm hoping it evokes every emotion i'm hoping no matter what people listen to it if they if they hate it or if they love it that it invokes at least something i feel like it's scary when you're when you put something out and no one's like you know there's it it, it invokes nothing that's hella scary you want some type of reaction yeah good or bad it's 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 what i it's what um what is there for yeah how important do you think social media is for up and coming musicians? It's extremely important. I think that we're in a you know age where um, this is like the only thing that uh, is like a common uh, like denominator amongst a lot of people. Like uh, you look at some random person on the street, they might not have social media. It's such a small chance that they don't. So yeah, I, I mean, I I think it's like double-edged sword because it, like you know the internet's cool because you get to see cat videos and like you know funny things on your Sick. for you page but you also get to see horrors beyond your comprehension and yeah. like the worst opinions you've ever seen in your life like it's just give and take so i understand um sorry <clears throat> like a lot of people's gripes and uh hatred of the internet and especially being an artist because all you want to do is create and put stuff out so it's hard to be you know in a place because it's, it's, it's hard to be a human in real life and then also reanimate yourself online and you have right. a, you, you have two existences basically and like when you're living you know this life you know you could walk outside and nobody knows who the fuck you are but you go online and you have a bunch of strangers from every corner of every you know single direction who know who and they all have an opinion on you exactly and they've never met you once in your entire life yeah. so i feel like yeah it's terrifying for people but i feel like some people are professionals at it and I, I i know people who like love the internet love being perceived and love having all of that it's just like it's a great skill to have ski okay. mask has like a really cool quote where he's like um he says what did, he says something along the lines of like you know there's so many i'm so much better than some of these rappers i just don't know how to use the internet or something <laughs> like that that's <laughs> so cool but um cool man uh last one what does the gaming community mean to you a lot and i think I've touched on that topic a little bit, but I don't, um, I'll touch on it more with y'all. Uh, I think the gaming community and just community online in general, uh, kind of saved my life, even though it sounds kind of cliche and corny. Um, I, you know, had a very tough time, you know, being social and making friends when I was younger. So being able to, you know, be in the Call of Duty community, I was in, uh, I was a child on M- on MW two BO two trick shotting all yeah. of that. I was in that community. I was uh, doing like graphic design for people making AVRs, Twitter no banners, way. thumbnails, all that. Uh, and that's actually what got me into music. I was you know doing all those thumbnail things and um, you know making AVRs for teams and logos. And I started to you know see people make cover art for artists. So I was like, okay, I could do this. Like this is awesome. Like I love music. Like I I could also you know start doing that. And I just fell in love with. Uh, like being in smaller communities and that's how I got introduced to an artist his name was Hell Sketchy he passed away um, like five years ago and he introduced me to a lot of people so you know rest in peace to him but uh, he uh, he definitely showed me a, a crazy crazy portal into what is SoundCloud and what is DIY music and you know what is you know the untapped like people obviously hear what you hear on the radio but I feel like it's so much like it's, it's it's like the concept of space to me. Like we're in this galaxy and we know yeah. each other and we know this existence, but there's so much that we haven't discovered. So you're this young kid and you like love music and you get into graphic design, mm-hmm. 
But did you not think to yourself, like, I just have an incredible voice. Maybe I should just do music. I just, like, never thought that I really, like, was going to do it because it was a situation where, number one, I'm at my parents' crib and I'm not about to be scream singing in my room making so much noise. Like, I was like, that's so embarrassing. (laughs) But um, it was actually my cousin that got me actually to, like, really, like, record and make music because he was starting to learn how to produce. And I was like, oh, I've been messing around producing for, like, a year and a half. Like, let's learn together. And uh, he, you know, started recording himself and bought a mic. Shout out Focusrite. That's, that's, that's all we get is the, uh, basically it was this like package that you would get an interface, uh, condenser mic, and an XLR cable. That's all and, you need. Yeah, it's all you need, dude. And we, uh, we set up a little makeshift studio in his room and dude, I fell in love. I was like, I was making three, four, five songs a day. It was oh, wow. amazing. And all of them were fucking terrible. But uh, yeah, dude, I found them because I loved writing as a kid. Like I loved just like Shit up Euphoria stories. to put, put them in the show. Yeah. There you go. They might they might just take it. You never, had that, you never had that moment though. Like you ever seen that TikTok when it's like the moment I realized I could sing, can't believe I caught it on camera. <laughs> Have you seen those? <laughs> that would be so funny, dude. Yeah. Cool. Well, Eric, thank you so much for coming on the podcast. We appreciate it. Good luck on tour. We'll be sure to stop by one of the shows for sure. Please do. Cool. All right. Thanks. Great episode. Peace. Peace. Peace out, guys.